It's the Rick Maniac, and I'm here with Matt's Mox. Hi. He's very tall compared to me, but yep. at Steamtown, which is awesome, I'm wanting to go here for a while. Philly's tomorrow, so yay! So, okay, like I said, we're at Steamtown, and if you guys know from Instagram, it's Matt's legendary hand car. And he derails a lot because he's Matt, and that happens. So, here we go 790's Bell. Ouch. And that happened, okay. See, of course, since Matt is a lot taller, he's just got um, like a rope burn or something, he has to hold it. Yeah, so, someone ripped it off. There we go. Oh, 3713's tender. Inside the caboose we go. Done this in the, back in California, but not... Oh, what in? Pretty interesting. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah, get all the windows are open for some reason. Go out there? Camera view. So this is what the passengers used to take. And this was uh, for crews on freight trains. Who's on freight trains? Matt's so in here with me. Were the, were beds. Oh, okay. There would be a couple chairs here. That was the desk for the. So we got a deal in W box car here. Just gonna go in here with Matt. Uh, the boxes are all shipped. So we're gonna give it a run, but oh well. The entire region. This is what a boxcar is. The cold cars do it as a shipping yeah. box. Okay, so the moment I've been waiting for inside the roundhouse. Of course, 2317 in all its glory, 3254. If we go up there, you can see the front. And I'll just keep vlogging here. Yeah, I know. That's upside. As you guys know, I don't vlog a lot, so this is a lot different, but we can just keep going. So, no, I only really made like two parts of the vlog, and that's like <laughs> me, me just saying, "Look, I'm tracking." Hey, look, there's TVM. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, it's finally it's TVM. Oh, thirty-two fifty-four. Apologize for the low light situation here. This is the problem with iPhones, and if the audio is not that good, that's because I don't have my microphone with me. Uh, uh, so don't forget the sheer size of. Yeah. Everywhere. So, this is just glorious. Yes. Alright, so front side here you got 3254 and of course 2317. First time I've ever seen 2317. First time I've been to Steam Town, which you guys know. But I'll be seeing this Lego version that Matt built tomorrow. And there's 565 or what's left of it. Matt also built 565. As you know, he's Mr. Steam Town when it comes to building steam engines. And of course, you got NKP 5, or Seven. 759, sorry. Oh. Numbers are not my uh, greatest forte. There you go. But nickel plate. A lot more complex words than what we say in here. <laughs> yeah, true. This is, it's, he's not wrong oh, about that. And you got 6039. Going inside an RPO. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, sir. Watch your step and use the handrail. Good point. All right. Well, attempted. So this, is, this is your observation this is your desk. Room. And the toilet and the sink. This is what first class looked like. All the accoutrements accoutre yeah. of uh, what you need to do. Of course, I don't know why that vent is open. Huh. So, yeah, just so that. you guys know on YouTube, this is more of a raw vlog. Not too much editing, but uh, come on. show what I'm doing today. Uh, no, that's not going up anytime oh, soon. Yep, yeah, that's wow. the kitchen. What years was this? This car was built huh. 19, 1910, and it was the president's private car. I was mistaken. This is the RPO. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, 
not sure why I thought that, but I don't know. They're all bad. Hooks. Inside the RPO. So, back hook is all over for pick for both pickup and wow. dropping off. And there's people nice. shoving garbage. Yeah. That's nice. You know, I was looking when I was trying to build an RPO, and looking at stuff like this, but these are all different pretty good. that would have been served by this car. Wow. So you have some original 26. Boot of course, the Booten car. 26 in all its glory. But we'll see that more later. We got LMBR 1923, first time I've ever seen this. It's quite interesting to see a locomotive that you've built out of Lego in real life. Now, this is pretty much in the back, so it's not in a very good area in Steamtown. Pretty far back, but sorry for the awkward transition. As you can see, though, we do have a tender that looks like it has holes in it, so that's... It sits here, so it's not really too much of a problem, but very awesome locomotive to see.